man. What's good with y'all boys, man? It's your boy Self Made DJ, and I'm back. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna lie. I missed y'all. It's been a little minutes since I've been gone. What? It's been like four years? Yeah, I know that's been a little too long. I know y'all miss me, man. But in this video, I'm, I'm gonna be breaking down where I've been at, what I've been doing, how I started my own clothing brand, you know, how I went from 2K YouTuber, getting 1,200 subs in a year, to becoming a, a decently, decently, uh, profitable clothing brand in the last four years man but hope y'all enjoy these 2k clips y'all sit back relax and enjoy the video now i know i've been gone for a little minute but i ain't gonna lie y'all gotta appreciate these clips bro you see what i'm doing bro i was in eighth grade doing this to these people i had a squeaker voice come on now y'all but uh let me go right into it and get right get right into it jesus christ i can't even talk right now uh why i left the youtube scene Quite honestly, y'all, I felt like 2K was getting repetitive. Like, 2K wasn't really doing it for me no more. I know I was growing on YouTube, and I probably could have made a name for myself like all them other 2K19 YouTubers, but I honestly felt like I could do more with it, and my creativity at the time just was going at an all-time high. And I felt like I could do so much more than just be a 2K YouTuber. So, my bad, y'all. I'm a little sick, but, uh, so... Um, I went from YouTube, I took a slowly, I, I kind of slowly took a step back, I didn't completely leave, it went from me, you know, doing uploads, mixtapes all the time, and my post score that you see right now, oh my god, you see what he's doing, this is a 7 foot demon, uh, but it went from me, you know, recording about this post score, to, you know, 2k20, 2k21, you know, streaming less, you know, making videos less, Overall, I just took a step back from it, you know what I mean? So ultimately, you know, I, I kind of just, you know, went away from it. But it's it's not always a bad thing to step back from something if you get, you know, a little burnt out, you know what I mean? But, you know, honestly, these last four years of my life have been eye-opening. Like, it showed me what I can do, and I've done all of this by myself. And what I mean, when I say I've done all of this, man, I went through, like, three different businesses, guys, like... I went through a freelance editing business. I was a freelance photographer. I was a freelance graphic designer. And I did all this by myself. I had all these businesses, but I yet I still felt like I was missing something. Like I was missing what I could be become. Like it wasn't my full potential. So, you know, I eventually I eventually just sat back and I started to like research different clothing brands and stuff like that. And honestly, like ever since I started to research and look at TikTok, it just it just it inspired me, y'all. Like I always been a designer and like creative since I've been young, and I've always been interested in business. But seeing how easy it is to make a clothing brand, I ain't gonna say it's easy to maintain it, but it's to start one. It's pretty easy. Like all you need to do is buy one of your own shirts, find somebody that make it, you know, and promote it. But Man, at first, this is my second time starting the brand, y'all. I want y'all to keep that in mind. So, at first, I ain't gonna lie. I was making sales. I don't know how I was making sales. This is my old stuff right here, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. We gonna, we gonna skip past. I can't keep this on the screen too long. But, honestly, like, it just really got to a point where I was just not feeling like I was putting any effort in my clothes. Like, I would just put my brand name, a logo, and call it a day. I ain't gonna lie. It was getting lazy. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. And I got to keep it 100 with myself too because that's why I had to restart. So I was starting to make these clothes. I wasn't feeling like that was where I was supposed to be. I was feeling like I had some more potential. You know what I mean? So I had to take a step back. I took like a year break from like 2023 to 2024. And back like in like November of 2023, that's when I started to like really look into designing and studying i used to write it down I have i have like 15 video playlists right now just strictly graphic design y'all and i had to really like lock in for real when i say lock in, everybody just throw that phrase around but when i say lock in i mean eliminate all distractions only thing i was doing i would come home i would go to the gym and i would come sit home get on my computer watch videos how to design how to promote your design where to get your samples it's really just trial and error and grinding, y'all. But, ooh, oh my God. 
I'm sorry. These look at what I'm doing to these dudes. I'm I'm seven foot three. This is a post score, y'all. But um, my bad. But honestly, like starting up this brand has shown me like the value of independence and everything I've done. I've done on my own. I've asked probably for two favors in like the last couple years of my business. But the second favorite was really just editing because I was getting lazy with that too. But that's besides the point. The point is, y'all can do anything y'all want to do. All y'all got to do is put in the time, effort, and energy, y'all. This is what I'm doing right now. This is this what you see right now. It's all sales from one month, y'all. One month. I don't have to. I don't have no job. I don't. I don't have no other source of income besides my clothing brand. And I know, like. Some people might frown on that and say I'm like relying on it. But honestly, the way I work at it, the way I promote at it, you could do whatever you want and you could really just make your own name for yourself. But, you know, I just wanted to get a little rundown where where I've been at, man, what I've been doing, you know, since I ain't gonna lie, I'm finna graduate high school now, man, like life, life finna get real, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this. I just want y'all let y'all know I will be returning to the platform and y'all will be seeing some more content of me and I probably will have a face cam up soon, y'all. So shout out to y'all watching this video, man. Love y'all boys. I'll see you in the next one.